Well, I hope you're all enjoying your lunch, and I invite you all to continue eating, but we are going to move forward with the business portion of our event, and so I'd like to invite Mary Jo Vieiro up to the podium to put forward our slate of officers. Thanks, Mary Jo. Thank you. Thank you all for coming today. I'm very, very happy to be here. In accordance with the chapter bylaws, each year we vote on the entire board of directors. Please review the names shown on the screen. May I have a motion to approve the slate of trustees? Have a motion? Motion carried. Motion carried. May I have a vote to approve the slate of trustees? Okay. Now I ask that you please review the slate of officers on the screen again. The Governance Committee presents these names for your approval. May I have a motion to approve the slate of officers? What do I say? Okay. May I have a vote to approve the slate of officers? Okay. Great. Motion carries. Would all the members of the Board of Trustees in attendance please stand or raise your hand? A few people. Okay, great. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. That was easy, right? All right. One down. On behalf of the Volunteer Development Committee, it is my pleasure to moderate this portion of our program the 2013 Volunteer Recognition Award Ceremony. I'd like to ask Kim Albin, one of our board members and committee members, to please join me. Welcome, Kim. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Mary Jo Vieiro, and I am a volunteer with the National MS Society Greater Illinois Chapter. I have served on the board of directors for several years. I've also been a participant and volunteered in the Walk MS, Bike MS, MS Slugfest, the Ambassador Program, and I'm currently the champion, the board champion for the Chapter Programs Committee. It's a pleasure to be here today. Before I announce the dedicated volunteers that we will be honoring today, I'd like to share my story and my connection with multiple sclerosis. Way back in 1986, I had just started dating my husband, my boyfriend George, who is now my husband. And one of my earliest memories of our relationship was when he had gone home for the weekend to visit his parents. We were in college. And he came back and told me that while he was out for a walk with his dad, his dad had fallen. And he was very, very worried about it. After several months, it was determined that Larry, George's dad, had multiple sclerosis. I did not know it at the time, but Larry's diagnosis would change the course of my life, too. Unfortunately for Larry, his life changed for the worse. My life changed for the better. During the next 10 years, Larry's MS progressed. George and I did get married. But after several years, we were feeling very hopeless, and we did not know what we could do for Larry. So we finally decided to start volunteering for the MS Society, and we have not stopped. After fighting MS for over 20 years, Larry sadly passed away in 2010. I was given the opportunity to speak at his funeral, and just to say a few words. The first thing that I could think of to say was that Larry and his MS were a gift to me. And as I looked out into the faces in the crowd at the funeral, I looked at so many friends that I would have never met had it not been for my volunteer work at the MS Society. So Larry was a gift to me, and volunteering was my gift to Larry. 
And just like most gifts that you give, usually the, the reward really is bigger for the giver. And that is so true for volunteering for me. Volunteering has given me the gift of friendship. It's given me the gift of awareness. It's given me the gift of hope, the gift of gratitude, and the gift of courage. I hope all of you, if you haven't already done so, give yourself the gift of volunteering. Thank you. Now, before I begin announcing the award, the awardees, I want to mention that we will not have time for acceptance speeches. It's kind of like the Oscars. So I do encourage everyone to just uh, show your support with a big round of applause at the end of the award ceremony. All right, let's begin. The first, the first award that we will present is the Do-It-Yourself Event Volunteer of the Year Award, which recognizes the volunteer who creates and coordinates community events to raise awareness and funds for MS. The award goes to the Habing family, represented by Phil Habing, who raised $22,000 for an event called Run in a Dress for MS. A hilariously themed 5K held in Phil's hometown of Teutopolis, Illinois, Phil and his family dedicate this event in honor of their youngest sister, Anna, who was diagnosed with MS in May of 2012. The next award is the Excellence in Individual Fundraising Bike MS in recognition of individual fundraising leadership for Bike MS. The award goes to Tom Selke, who has individually raised $11,000 for Bike MS through the generosity of friends and family and his old-fashioned fundraising approach of visiting people in person and phone calling. Our next award is the Excellence in Team Fundraising Bike MS, which recognizes the team fundraising leadership for Bike MS. This award goes to Pedal Pushers Team Cool Wave, represented by Matt Kramer, who leads a team of 66 members that has grown since it started in 2012 and this year raised more than $53,000. Next is the Excellence in Individual Fundraising, Walk MS, which recognizes individual fundraising leadership for Walk, M Walk MS. Shannon Reeves was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2009. After her diagnosis, Shannon's main goal was to educate herself about MS and find opportunities to help others who are living with the disease. Shannon individually raised $6,556 in donations and as a team raised over $22,000 in 2013, putting Shannon in the upper tier of the Chicago Lakefront fundraisers. Our next award is the Excellence in Team Fundraising Walk MS, which recognizes team fundraising leadership in Walk MS. Comprised of nearly 50 friends, coworkers, and family members, Kathy Jarzombek, Team Union Leasing, has more than doubled in size since 2010. In 2013, the team raised nearly $25,000 for the Walk MS McHenry site. Their positive attitudes and enjoyable fundraising approach have helped the team keep their fundraising goals high. The, ne the, next the next award goes to the Program Support Volunteers of the Year, which recognizes volunteers who have made significant contributions toward providing... Hang on. 
outstanding leadership and support for people living with MS and the chapter. David Oost has been living with MS for 18 years. David currently serves as a facilitator of the Bloomington Normal MS Group. Along with his wife, Jean, they are also very involved as WAC MS committee members, MS activists, and David has participated in research programs through the University of Illinois. Their goal is to impart the MS Street Smarts that will empower and encourage people to live fully. The next award we will present is the Rookie Fundraiser of the Year, which recognizes excellence in individual fundraising and leadership during the first year of participation. Bethany Mash became first became familiar with, with MS through her work as a rehabilitation nurse. She is now a fully certified multiple sclerosis nurse at the Northwestern Medical Faculty Foundation. As a WAC MS co-team captain, her team raised more than $14,000 this year. She loves WAC MS because of the togetherness that it creates. Our next award... Our next award is the Volunteer of the Year Award, which recognizes an individual who makes outstanding contributions as a volunteer for the chapter. This, year award, this year's award goes to Lane Sow. Lane started volunteering for the MS Youth Camp from 1974 to 1990. For more than 30 years, Lane has dedicated her life to volunteerism for the Greater Illinois Chapter. To, To assist in the delivery of programs and coordination at events, Lane's dependable and unflappable presence communicates the mission at every venue where she has become a familiar face. Congratulations. At this time, we want to make a special mention of this year's recipient of the National MS Society's Lifetime Achievement Award, which is pre presented to volunteers with 35 or more years of service in the movement toward a world free of MS. The award will be given at the National Conference in November in Denver. To, award, to our awardee, Yolanda Tragus, she is in the audience right now, and Yolanda, please wave and say hello so we can see you. Congratulations, Yolanda. The Chairman's Award is the highest category presented by the chapter in recognition of distinguished service and outstanding support. The award goes to the Silverman family. The parents, unfortunately, cannot join us today, but daughter Michelle Burnett is here to accept the award on the family's behalf. The Silverman family has generously supported the mission of the society through their involvement since 2005. Through their, involvement, through their commitment with the annual Conewile Memorial MS outing, the family has donated nearly $90,000 since that time. They also contribute in-kind donations and secure sponsorships for events. We are grateful for their continued dedication to volunteering and fundraising to support MS research and programs for individuals and their families. Thank you. Our final award category is the Legislator of the Year Award, which recognizes the work of state officials which make life better for people living with MS. This, year, this year's awards will go to two of our state legislators, Senator Matt Murphy of the 27th District in the Northeast Suburbs and Representative Ann Williams of the 11th District on the north side of Chicago. They will now each say a few words, first Senator Murphy and then Representative Williams. Well, let's put this right up front and center. Uh, thank you, first of all, very much, uh, John and Mary Jo and the entire society for this recognition. Uh, let me first say you have a wonderful advocacy group and advocacy presence in Springfield. Uh, I don't have, in my personal background and family experience, a history with MS. For me to be the best legislator I can be for you, 
I need your help. And you have always been with your volunteers and your activists right there to help educate me to know what I need to do to be the best legislator, legislator for you. So thank you for that. And I encourage you, continue Lobby Day and continue to speak to your own legislators back home in your districts because it is important and it does make a difference. Uh, the number one thing that was accomplished this year was the creation of a task force to study MS. Uh, I'm hopeful that this will provide information. One of the things that it really uh, was amended to do is provide education. We want not just your legislators to understand how we can make your life better, but your coworkers, your neighbors, uh, maybe the, the, the people you deal with at your children's school, to have a better understanding of the challenges those with MS face so we can make your struggle with this affliction easier. So that is one of the things this task force is targeted with. I am hopeful and eagerly await the results of it. I continue to uh, reach out to you for your help with advocacy, and I am honored to receive this award, and thank you very much for it. I guess this goes up here, right? <laughs> Well, thank you so much for this wonderful award. I am truly honored to be here today and really happy to be with everyone. I first became involved with the MS Society about seven years ago when my life was touched by MS. I quickly realized that MS touches almost everyone's life in some way, whether personally, through a friend or family member, coworker, or neighbor. Looking to get involved in the MS Society and the fight against MS, I somehow got in touch with the amazing and talented Maureen Howard, who helped educate me about MS, the society, and how I could get involved. At that time, I worked in Springfield in the legislative arena, so that was the first lobby day I participated in long before I was elected. Since I've been elected, I've had the honor to work with the MS Society in a different capacity. I hope you will continue to consider me one of your go-to legislators in Springfield in the Capitol who you can count on to ensure that the priorities of the MS Society are the priorities of the Illinois legislature. Every year, I look forward to the MS Lobby Day when volunteers and activists fill the Capitol with their orange buttons, t-shirts, and scarves. And by the way, the MS advocates and activists that come to Springfield have quite the reputation. They are known to be strong, well-informed, passionate, and tenacious, a formidable combination. Because of this, I have seen the influence of the MS Society grow in the Capitol over the years, and more and more of my colleagues are understanding how important it is to ensure that our laws reflect the needs of people with MS and their families. This is an amazing accomplishment, so thanks to all of you for making it happen. I look forward to celebrating many more victories with you in the future. Thank you. These are state legislatures, so it's all right to clap for them. Uh, this concludes our portion of the awards ceremony, but I do want to say one last time to all of our volunteers, this is a volunteer-led organization. We could not do any of our work without you, so on behalf of all the people on the podium, I just want one last time to say thank you so much for your inspiration and your work.